Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I have another package in today and as you can see it's just in the regular padded packaging here. Uh, you can't quite read this I'm sure. This is a, another one by Vastfire. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, there we go, guys. Uh, here's the kit right here. Uh, obviously, we'll just start off with the case here, standard case that they use. Uh, a lightweight, uh, a lightweight container has a couple of the clips and the padding and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of thing in it, so it's not exactly a, uh, a waterproof one. Um, as you can see, it did look like it chipped here at one point. Um, I may have a piece of it laying around here. So it's not the highest quality in terms of the plastic being used, but that's not what we bought this for. Uh, so anyhow, let's go into some of the other things. Obviously, we have kind of the standard stuff. We've got the batteries. We've got the charger. We have the uh, charging cable. Now, this does use the USB micro uh, B connection, which is what plugs in there. So the slightly older version of the, uh, of the phone chargers. We, of course, have, well, obviously two of the power buttons this one maybe a little more prone for uh, carrying so if you want to just carry the light around with you uh, you have that simple push button to turn it on and off it comes with the uh, simple little wrist strap or lanyard there and uh, then we also have the uh, push button series that uh, for when you want to put it on maybe a firearm or something of the sort uh, maybe even a crossbow or a bow or anything uh, so we have uh, a couple different uh, buttons here, and uh, what those are is you've got the constant on, and you've got the instant access. So you just hold, touch it, and as long as you're holding it, and then it goes down. Now, like any of these uh, kind of style lights, you have uh, kind of a standard build. Uh, this is, of course, machined aluminum. Uh, you have Kind of the same kind of basic overall shape you have that scalloped kind of edge which uh it's it's not real sharp or anything like that but it can be used for defensive purposes if necessary uh now it does have uh the uh adjust or the screw out you can unscrew from this end here and uh take the battery out that way or you can of course unscrew from the back end there now it does have the extending capability here. So obviously we have the, uh, we'll put it on. We have kind of what would be the wide beam. And then you can, of course, narrow it down to a very tight beam. Uh, so you can get those further distances. Uh, this is reasonably bright. Um, fairly standard, it seems like, from what I can tell, uh, to most, most lights of this size. Um, as you can see, it is very... Uh, very bright on the hand and everything uh, kind of bleaches everything out because it's so bright. Uh, now, the nice little additional part of it is we do have the mounting system. And uh, this is just a basic, I believe this is aluminum. Uh, we do have four mounting screws there. So you can then, of course, put this in, sw swing those out, uh, put this in, tighten it all down. And then the locking system. Now, as you can see, we have multiple screws, little little keeper type things here. And then, of course, the uh, Torx wrench. And this is Torx, not uh, Allen. Uh, so it isn't the hex, the hex head. Uh, but this is for the M-lock system. So instead of the standard uh, Picatinny uh, style of uh, mounting, we now have the M-Lock, which if you're using this on something, say, like an AR-style platform with a foregrip, most of the foregrips anymore that I notice tend to have a Picatinny across the top, but then the sides and the bottom and everything are all M-Lock. Um, I'm going to say this is roughly about 5 inches uh, in overall length. It's not super heavy. It does use the, uh, well, their brand, but it is the 18650 batteries. Obviously, two came with it because I already put one inside of the uh, light right here. So, very nice in that aspect. Now, one thing I noticed on their Amazon page is they had a couple different uh, videos already on there. And I think I would like to kind of replicate some of the things that I saw there. They were doing some torture testing on these. And... Uh, Generally speaking, I don't always like doing that just because I don't want to ruin it in case I do want to actually use it, in case I kind of go overboard with it. 
but I think this time we're going to go ahead and take the chance. So uh, we'll switch it out. We won't worry about using this piece here. We're going to go ahead and uh, put the regular hand piece on and we're going to take it out and we're going to try it and see what kind of uh, what kind of punishment it can take. All right, so here's a flashlight. And as you can see, works just fine. Obviously, bowl of water. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And I've got a watch right here. You can see, well, it's kind of hard, but uh, yeah, it's almost quarter to nine. And I think we'll leave it in there for a while. All right, guys, we're back. It's been sitting in here for about 45 minutes, and uh, you can see on the watch there, almost, I'm just shy of an hour. Uh, anyhow, so let's leave it under there. And uh, it still works. So 45 minutes underwater. And uh, it's still good. So let's go ahead and try it out on uh, something else. All right, guys, we're outside. We've got the uh, flashlight, if it'll focus on that. I don't know. Yeah, it wants to focus on the ground. Anyhow, we've got the flashlight. Uh, we've already tested it, and, of course, it uh, survived about 45 minutes, almost an hour. Uh, just over 45 minutes in the water. And, of course, there, the light's still on, still works. Eh, well, let's take a look. So, we're standing here. I'm, I don't know, this is about counter height, so about three feet. Let's take a look. Ah, no problem. Takes a drop without a problem. That actually landed almost right on the lens. And, let's see. Oh, light went out. Let's see. I think I hit the button yep it hit the button and turned it off so there we go we got a little bit of scratching on it um, nothing real major or anything like that a couple little nicks from hitting the gravel why don't we go ahead and uh, well, we'll throw it right there right behind the wheel of the car Looks like that light's still on, and the front of it's kind of smashed into the gravel a little bit. Take a look, yep, yeah, oh yeah. Kind of tore up the paint job a little bit, not too bad. Obviously, you know, it's just black paint, basically, so we could always clean that up. So, well, you know what, let's try a couple more times. Got the light on. I'm tossing this up in the air here. That's doing about a six foot fall. How about this? Even better than gravel. Why don't we go over here? Now we've got the sidewalk. So uh, let's see how it'll do against the sidewalk. Light's still on. Yep. Not a problem. It's taking a, taking a licking and keeps on ticking kind of thing. Of course, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below, along with all the social media links and everything. There will be a link to this on the Amazon site. Uh, um, you know, that'll, that'll be right there beside that uh, PayPal link if you want to help out the channel, of course. All right, well, that'll do it for me today, guys. This, of course, is World of Me, another episode from the Amazon review series, a uh, The Vast Fire, another one of their lights. And, uh, you know, if you... Uh, like this i definitely appreciate a thumbs up go ahead and hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you know i've got new videos coming out and uh yeah that'll do it so i'd like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye